Arun Chitalapalli, the MD at Vanilla Holidays, is joining us. Hi, first up, uh, very happy New Year wishes to you and your loved ones. Uh, May 2024 be bigger, better and brighter for you. But the travel and tourism sector has also picked up massively in the year gone by. And I think that's the reason 2023 was very special for you. But as we head into 2024, what are the big trends that you're watching out for? Do you think this momentum can really continue? See, for 2024, I think uh, because now we are uh, truly and well, well beyond uh, the COVID uh, scare years, I think uh, travel is supposed, uh, you know, expected to grow further. Uh, and domestic tourism should uh, improve uh, with all the new facilities that are coming all across the country. So I do expect a big uptick in uh, domestic tourism. International tourism uh, will be a mixed bag uh, because I think uh, it's going to get more and more expensive to travel uh, internationally. And also a lot of countries have more restrictions on uh, international travel. And uh, so both these uh, factors put together, I think uh, international travel is going to get more and more expensive. So I think more and more people are going to look at domestic uh, tourism and travel avenues. And uh, I think that's uh, because of that, I think, uh, you know, the local uh, tourism and hospitality companies uh, should uh, do well. Okay, so that's good to hear. More and more people are looking at traveling more domestically, but you're looking at expanding into the smaller cities as well, right? Um, talk to us about what the average capex it is, which are the cities that you have lined up? So for us, uh, we have two models. We have a large city, uh, tier one city model, and we have a tier two city, uh, which we use uh, for the smaller cities. Uh, the tier one city is roughly between 400 and 500 crores of uh, capex. Uh, the tier two cities for us, it will be between 150 to 200 crore of capex uh, in today's money. So that's the kind of number that we work with. Also, we work uh, uh, both uh, both cases. We can work with the state governments where they provide land, and then we build on top of it. So we save a little bit on the you know uh, capital costs. And uh, some governments also offer incentive on the capex. So it could vary from uh, state to state. But overall, between uh, you know one hundred and fifty to two hundred is what we do for the smaller cities. Right, Arun, this is Vinny joining in the conversation as well. You know, while you're talking about obviously expecting uh, domestic tourism to further improve, expecting an uptick in terms of domestic tourism, you are only expecting a marginal growth in terms of your footfall of 3 to 5% for the third quarter. Why is that so? You know, what is the reason that uh, for the subdued, subdued footfall then? So we, we have already had a very high growth of footfalls in the last uh, financial year, if you remember. So on growing on top of that for us, especially during the peak seasons, is difficult. Uh, so we are not expecting a huge growth in footfalls. Between 3 to 5% growth in footfalls is we are, uh, what we are expecting. And I think that's how uh, you know, the, you know, this uh, industry works. Uh, the extra revenue and footfall growth for us now will come from uh, opening new projects. And that's what we are trying to do. Uh, uh, marginal growth in footfalls, but five to percent, five percent footfall growth is what I think is reasonable uh, prediction. And uh, on top of that, we will also have ticket price increases, which we have done between ten and fifteen percent. So all put together, between fifteen to twenty percent uh, is what we're looking at for the whole year. Also, you know, just how much will the asset light approach leasing land from state governments aid in terms of reducing your capex then? Yes, I think uh, working with state governments definitely helps us reduce our capex because uh, uh, amusement parks are very highly capital intensive uh, projects, and uh, too much capex can uh, adversely affect uh, you know the viability of the business itself. And as you've seen, many companies have gone bankrupt in our sector. It's a very tough sector to uh, work in. So because of that, we have uh, we have decided to tie up with state governments and uh, you know uh, for them to offer us land, uh, uh, you know, and because this is a very labor intensive and tourism intensive business, we typically employ close to thousand people per location. So I think there is a lot of uh, employment generation and tourism potential. So because of which, I think state governments have been very receptive and they've been uh, offering us uh, attractive incentives to set up this uh, these kind of projects. Uh, because of which I think we should uh, expect our capex to reduce by roughly between 50, 50 to 100 crores depending on the size of the project. Sure, but uh, since you talked about the tie-up with state governments, I understand you are in conversation with the likes of Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh and Punjab. Um, talk to me about how those talks have progressed now. 
So we are waiting for a proposal from these uh, governments. I think these governments have been extremely uh, proactive and they have all uh, uh, understand the, what do you call it, the uh, the potential of this business for their respective states to draw tourists, uh, domestic and uh, international. So I think Madhya Pradesh, uh, we are expecting uh, to, you know, sign, uh, and uh, I mean, uh, you know, to start a project over there very quickly. Similarly, uh, the Punjab government also has been extremely forthcoming and uh, uh, very proactive, uh, you know, for us to help us start the project. We're waiting to see how, uh, you know, when it will happen, but I think it's just a matter of time. In the next few months, we should be able to announce a new uh, location for us. Uh, um, Uttar Pradesh also, as you know, is very um, they are very bullish on tourism for Uttar Pradesh. So uh, we are expecting to uh, complete uh, form formalizing a project a proposal for uh, Greater Noida uh, uh, in uh, Uttar Pradesh. So we are looking at that as well. Fair, but the company was also able to improve its average revenue per user, which was supported by both the ticket prices as well as the efforts on increasing the non-ticket revenues, namely the F&B segment. Uh, what's the outlook on ARPU? Because the footfall growth is going to be limited. So then in that case, is the growth going to be, uh, you know, fueled by the ARPU increase? Our uh, ARPUs will be healthy going ahead. Uh, I think our ticket prices have gone up by roughly 10 to 15 percent compared to the previous year, and that will continue. Uh, our non-ticket revenue should uh, grow faster between 15 and 20 percent uh, growth in uh, 15, uh, to 15 to 25 percent growth in non-ticket revenue is what we are expecting for this year. Right, and lastly, Arun, you know, uh, before we let you go, could you tell us in terms of your CAPEX plan for the years as, as well as uh, the revenue outlook that you have for FI24, FI25 finally? We don't usually give revenue uh, guidance, but we are expecting again uh, between 15 to 25% growth uh, kind of uh, uh, for our uh, whole year. Uh, but at the same time, uh, you know, we are not expecting a huge growth in footfall, like I said, in the existing parks. For us, the growth for the next financial year will come in from Odisha, where our new park will is expected to commence uh, between uh, May and June of uh, uh, 24. So when that happens, obviously, you'll see an uptake in revenues and footfall. So that uh, that will help us boost our revenues for the coming year. And um, uh, 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 regarding our other project, which is Chennai, uh, we are expecting that to come on stream in uh, September of 2025. So two years, about roughly one and a half years from now. So this year we can expect, next financial year, we can expect Orissa to come on stream. And the year after that, we are expecting Chennai to come on stream. And that will help us uh, boost revenues. Well, with this, we let you go on that. Thank you so much for joining us today on ET Now and helping with uh, the outlook for the company ahead. So that was the management of Wandela Holidays sharing the CAPEX plans going ahead and um, how the company plans to expand in the Tier 1 and the Tier 2 cities.